LVOT gradient in hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. Left ventricular outflow tract gradient in HOCM is measured from the apical 5 chamber view. Continuous wave Doppler jet in HOCM is described as a dagger shaped or sickle shaped jet. Shape of the jet indicates the dynamic nature of the LVOT obstruction in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The gradient progressively increases as systole progresses. When the left ventricular cavity is small due to hypovolemia or dehydration, the gradient can rise significantly. Isometric hand grip, Valsalva maneuver and standing can bring out the gradient well when it is low in the basal stage. Dynamic variation in left ventricular outflow tract gradient in hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy depends on the left ventricular contractility and the loading conditions. Variations in LVOT gradient in HOCM depends on hydration status or volume status, activity of the autonomic nervous system, medications being used, physical activity, position during assessment whether it is supine or standing, diurnal variations as well as some day-to-day -day variation has been noted in various studies. The typical dagger shaped or sickle shaped LVOT gradient pattern in CW Doppler is demonstrated in this picture. You can see that the beginning gradient is low and it increases as systole progresses to peak towards late systole. This is the dynamic nature of the obstruction. And it is also seen that there is variation in the gradient from cycle to cycle. These are all part of dynamic LVOT obstruction in hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy.